Welcome to another video. This is a trig identity that I think you should add to your list of trig identities because you never know when this is going to turn out to be super useful. The point of this video is to show that the arc sine of x plus the arc cosine of x is always equal to pi over 2. Get into the video. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the claim and say that suppose this is A and this is B. If I take the sine of A plus B, it should be the sine of pi over 2. And that means my answer is going to be 1 when I take the sine of a plus b. Always. Remember, take the sine of these two. This is what you get. So I'm saying let a be arc sine x and let b be arc cosine of x. Okay, let's just prove it. I'm just going to build on the assumption I just made. I'm going to say that let A, so we say let A be equal to arc sine x. Let's write that properly. Arc sine of x. And what does this mean? It means if you take the sine of A, you're going to get x. That's the meaning. So it means that sine A is equal to x. And similarly, we know that if b is equal to arc cosine of x, then cosine b is equal to x. So it looks like x is equal to sine a, and x is also equal to cosine b. Sine a is equal to x, then we know that sine squared a will be equal to x squared. That means that cosine squared a will be equal to 1 minus sine squared a. So that our cosine a will be equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared a. But we know that sine squared a is x squared. So we know that cosine a is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, this cosine a, just by looking at it, it is the square root of a number, so it has to be positive. How do we know it's going to be positive? Remember that whatever comes out, what you, what, the domain of sine is always from negative infinity to infinity, but the Domain of arc sine is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So, if you look at your quadrants, what comes out of arc sine, where is it? Anything that comes out of this has to be from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. It's here. This is negative pi over 2. This is pi over 2. So, whatever comes out of here, if it goes into cosine, it is positive. So all values here are positive for cosine. Remember, cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant and in the first quadrant. So everything here is positive for cosine. And that's why you can see that it's the square root of, we obtain it by getting a square root of 1 minus x squared. So that is secure. If we do the same thing starting from cosine, we're going to end up, we can say similarly, if cosine b is equal to x, we can establish that sine b is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now let's go back again. Remember, anything that comes out of arc cosine, this b, the, it's going to be from 0 to pi. Remember, this is everything that comes out from arc cosine. 
But remember, if anything here goes into sine, it is positive because it is from here. Sine is positive from 0 to pi. So everything here also is positive. So you have this is positive and this is positive. So those are two things that make what we're doing actually meaningful. So now, what do we do with the two things that we have? Well, let's do something. What do you think is the sine of two angles? Remember, this is what we want to try and achieve. Sine A plus B. We want to see what sine A plus B is going to give us. If it gives us one, it means what we're saying is right. Okay, so let's go here and say that sine A plus B, based on what we learned in trig, is basically sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B. And that's what we're going to use here. And that's the same thing as, let's draw a line here. This is the same, what is sine A? What is cosine B? Let's go. What is sine A? Let's find sine A. This is sine A, is x. What is cosine B? Let's go. This is cosine B, it is x. Plus, what is cosine A? Right here, square root of 1 minus x squared. Square root of 1 minus x squared. And what is sine B? Square root of 1 minus x squared. Square root of 1 minus x squared. So as you can see, we have x squared here. Plus, what do we have on this side? We got, if you multiply these two together, the square root sign will disappear and you're going to end up with 1 minus x squared. Well, this is equal to 1. Sine a plus b is equal to 1. If the sine of an angle is equal to 1, what is that angle? a plus b must be pi over 2. But what is a? What is b? So this statement is actually correct just by simple manipulation. Let me just write the original claim. We can say, therefore, I'm going to write it this way. Arc sine x plus arc cosine x equals pi over 2. Our claim is verified. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.